Hi, I'm Christy from Adventures in iSTEM. I'm a middle school science teacher that loves helping other teachers empower their students to take more ownership of their learning. When I teach the scientific method, I like to have my students prove commercial claims. Now on YouTube, you can find many old paper towel commercials, and it's interesting that many of them claim that they are the strongest. So what I like to do is I like to show two commercials about paper towel experiments and then have the students create an investigation to prove their claims. Now, the ones I chose were for Bounty and Viva, and both of them claim that they are the strongest. So with that, it's a great stepping stone for helping my students create a scientific investigation to see which actual commercial claim is true. Now, to do this experiment, you're gonna to have to have four different types of paper towels. You're gonna to have to have the ones from the commercial, so I have a Viva and I have a Bounty, but then grab two more. I like to grab the cheap old value type, and then uh, and one more, and you can do Brawny. I like to choose Kirkland, uh, Costco's brand. So you have four different paper towel types. You're going to need cups, and that's to put the paper towels over, and then rubber bands to attach the paper towels to those cups. You will also need about 100 milliliters of water to go ahead and pour into the paper towels because their claims are always that when they are the wettest, they are the strongest. So we wanna make sure those paper towels are wet. Then you'll want some type of heavy object that you can put on the paper towels. Now I like using marbles and I have these giant ones which are really heavy. Uh, you can use regular marbles, you can use washers, you can use coins, anything that would be heavy that are of the same mass for all that the students can then put on top of the paper towels. And for this investigation, I do lead them through it because it's the first time we are talking about doing a scientific method. But if you've already taught the scientific method for the students, you could have them come up with their own way of investigating how, they were gonna, how they're gonna test it. Uh, you could have different measurement uh, weights for them to choose from. So that way really it is their own um, ways of doing that. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.